Daddy, uh, come and play with us. Yes, Daddy, come and play with us. You don't know how to play this time. Daddy, you come let's go. What's the problem? What is it? The kids said you've been ignoring them. You've been caught to me as well. Mm -hmm. Are you still mad at me about last night? Say I'm sorry. Honey. To me, what's bothering you? This is different. Listen, whatever it is, we can sort it out. There's always a first time to everything. Okay, tell me, hmm? what's bothering you? You know I love you. You know I love you too. So please talk to me. I am. I am. I am dying.
love you. But come and play with us. Yes, Daddy, come and play with us. You don't know how to play this time. Daddy, check on, let's go. What's the problem? What is it? The kids said you've been ignoring them. You've been caught to me as well. Hmm? Are you still mad at me about last night? Said I'm sorry. Honey. To me, what's bothering you? This is different. Listen, whatever it is, we can sort it out. There's always a first time to everything. Okay, tell me, hmm? what's bothering you? You know I love you. You know I love you too. So please talk to me. Um, I am. I am dying. No, 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 no. You're joking, right? Francis. Uh, tell me you're joking. No, I'm dying. Well, did I hear you well? My marrow, it's not healthy enough to function properly. The doctor said it's due to chronic disease and infections. He said something about thalassemia, which is an inherited blood disorder where the body makes an abnormal No ma. You took my children. You took my children to some kind of test without telling me. Honey, I said something. I said that I'm dying. You are dying. I obviously heard you. Is that why you should expose my children? to some kind of radiation and chemotherapy. And you think I don't have the right to know? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought one of them would be a match. I thought one of them would be a match so that I will come back with positive news for you. And so? They can donate. About marrow. That's why I said I'm dying. I'm dying. Ah! <laughs> 
That's a stupid question. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the way I reacted. I guess I wasn't sure. It's okay. No. It's not okay. This shouldn't be happening to us. We are good people. This shouldn't be happening to us. That's, I'm so sorry. It's okay. We'll pull through together. Because I am not ready to be a widow. I would not be a widow. Nothing will happen to you. We'll pull through this together. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes. You need to come right away. It's very important and urgent. Okay. Okay. What's that? Uh, darling, you need to be resting. I will rest when I die. Never. For me. You are not going to die. Okay. Don't talk like that. Who were you talking to on the phone? Tochi. I asked her to come. Perhaps you two can go see the doctor. Why? What do you mean why? She's your sister. I'm not dead yet. Why is this happening? What? Why? Why now? Let's go to the hospital. Let's go. There's no need. Sorry, what? There's no need. She can't donate. What do you mean she can't donate? Of course she can. She's just a spy, isn't she? Isn't she? Yes, she is. Good. She can. So she stopped crying. You're getting on my nerves with those tears, eh? Let's go to the hospital already. Tochi cannot donate her marrow for me. Why not? Why can't she? Because I'm pregnant.
much. Is this a joke? Eh? What was that you said in there? I said I'm pregnant. Yes, for who? What do you mean for who? For my husband, of course. Mm. Does he know? No, <coughs> I haven't told him. Good. Very good. Hmm? Our priority right now is your father. You need to save him. Me? Yes, you. You can save him. You are his sister. Of course I'm his sister. But I can't. I can't go through such procedure in my condition. I can't be his donor right now. Mm. Mm. Meaning what? Hmm? Are you trying to choose this baby over your own blood brother? Hmm? It's not... I... Oh! <laughs> Francis! What is it? What is it? What is it? How is it? Oh, Axie. Don't pretend like you care. Please, give it. Let me ask you. How many siblings do you have? Francis, who saw you through school? Who was there when your marriage went to hell? Oh, Francis, eh? yes, you are being with him. Eh? Yes, you don't want to help him. <laughs> See, this is not fair. No, 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 no. Let me tell you what is not fair. What is not fair is your brother dying. Being in so much pain. Yet you choose not to help him. I did not choose this. Adegu. Please understand my position. I have been trying to get pregnant for the past five years. That is the reason my marriage went to hell, like you said. But then I found out that I'm that I'm with child. And, and what? <laughs> eh? And <laughs> really? See, all I want you to do is to save your brother. Bigonu! Don't you say for one of my husband, save the father of my children? Eh? Bigonu. You are asking me to risk the life of my unborn child to save your marriage. And that way you get to keep your family intact while I never get a chance to fix mine. Is that what you're saying to me? Yes. Save my husband. Save my marriage. By the way, your own has gone to hell. Kigalali, you already. Save my own. I'm begging you. Can you be any more selfish? Mm -mm. Why didn't become no selfish? I'm not selfish. You're being selfish and you're wicked. What would I like to do? You are wicked. You are very selfish. I'm not talking to me about this again. Because you're not just getting wicked. What would I like to do? Just get me be. No problem. No. 
So you wanna die? Eh? For Christ's sake, am I the only one who cares about you? Think about your children. Eh? No, see, I'm thinking about them. No, you are not. You are not. I know that you are finding it difficult. No. Let's leave Tochi out of this. She has been through a whole lot. See, we, we can find a way to handle this. How? I know you're just making excuses. Probably you've given up. But no, I haven't. And I won't. I won't. Eh? I'll see you later. What are you thinking about? Have you changed your mind? Okay, my family. Eh? Now, you can ask them. You know, Have you changed your mind? Okay. I'm mad over this. If anything happens to my husband, what will you hear with my husband, eh? I will never. Forgive you, never. But I mean it. If anything happens to Francis, I will never forgive you. Let's go inside now. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 you are not fine. You don't even look fine to me. Eh? How come nobody told me about this? Don't you even you. Why did you hide it from me? Mama, eh? I didn't want to worry you with this. What kind of nonsense are you talking about? Do I have another thing to do other than to look after you people? So if Nancy hadn't called me, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> eh? Nancy, uh, you went and called my mom? Yes, I did. Oh. I did. You shouldn't have done that. Maybe you listen to her and she but I refuse listen to me. No, you didn't do anything wrong. I know. Mm -hmm. What we should be talking about now is how to make you feel better. I'm here now, oh? You know, oh. You know? Hey, look at how hot your body is. You don't know, you'll be fine, oh? You know, you'll be fine, oh? You'll be fine. And you were hiding it from me, eh? Is it not enough that 10 years ago, I lost my husband. And now I'm about losing my son. Mom, nothing is going to happen to him. Really? Nothing will happen to him. Yes. Because I know you're going to save him. Nancy told me everything. And do you agree with her? What choice do we have? 
You expect me to sit down and watch my son, your brother, die? Bano, it can't happen. What is the worth of the baby we don't even know? Do we know anything about the baby? Mom. What? Mom, how can you say that? We come from a Christian home. Uh -huh. Dad was a pastor. So? And you? You never stop talking to Francis and I and the youth of the church about how fornication and abortion are terrible sins. And now, you are asking me to get rid of my baby. Mom! Ne. At this point, Anna, eh? forget what I said. I know what I said. Just forget it. Put Christianity aside. We're talking about something different. Mom, how is it different? Don't tell me. You have to save your brother's life. That's why it's different. God understands. In fact, God will always understand that I cannot lose Francis. I can't lose my son. But you can bear to lose me, right? You see again? Oh, you never thought about that. You never thought about the procedure. But what if something happens to me? Not only will I lose my chance of becoming a mother, not only will I lose my baby, I will also lose my chances to fix my marriage. What if something happens to me, mother? What if nothing happens? Have you asked yourself that? At this point, I may have condemned my soul to hell. I don't care. But you must do it. You don't have a choice. You must. Mama, Mama, enough of this. She won't do it. Francis. Mom, she will not do it. Francis. She will not, and that is fine now. You don't know anything you say so. Or who said that you won? She will not do it. She will not do it? Yes. Yeah? You will. In fact, you must do it. Mamma. Don't make it here. Mamma, Mama. I want to have one She will. She has no choice. But what is it? You haven't said a word since we left the bar. Who was that woman? Please. I need to be left alone. Please. I'll be in my room if you need me. Take a look at this. 
I know you said you want to be left alone, but take a look at this. It's mom. Why do you still want me to repeat myself? I said I need to be left alone. I know, I'm sorry, but take a look at this. It's mom, she left. Husband, though, he's been in pain all night. He has fever, he has chills, and he's sweating profusely. I'm so confused. Where is he now? He's inside. Let's see. Him. Oh. How do you feel now? <sighs> I need something stronger. The pain is too much. <sighs> Francis, what you need now is the transplant. And that should be done as soon as possible. Then, then I'm a dead man. Consider me a dead man because I don't have donor yet. But your daughter is a partial match. Yes, though we can still run some tests on her to be very sure. My daughter? You mean which my daughter? Yes. Uh, she, 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 she's very young. I know, I know that very well. But that can be managed and there is a chance. She's young. She, yeah. She's very young. Baby, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Just calm down. Take it easy, Francis. My back. My neck. Are you seriously considering this? You want my own daughter to donate her bone marrow to you? Nancy. Nancy, she's also my daughter. I don't like this. I didn't ask to be sick. Yes, she's your daughter. But you want your seven-year-old daughter to risk her life to save you. I have done some research about this. Do you have any idea how painful it can be? Do you? I know. I know. What would you have me do? Darling, please. We must stay positive. I didn't ask for this. Please. We will get through all this. Francis. I tell you, I'm in pain. Francis, you are not touching my daughter. I do not care if I have to get a cut order to that effect or call a village meeting to stop you. If your sister cannot help you, then my daughter certainly will not. Nancy. Nancy. Here, right? Yeah, she's a cleaner here. A cleaner? Yeah. Is she around? Mm, no. We actually worried about her. She has not been to work for some days now. Oh. Okay. <coughs> Sir, are you alright?
Someone called to say you fainted. Yes, he did. Thank you, my dear. Francis, I'm taking you to the hospital. No. Let me take you to the hospital. No. I was just dizzy. The doctor said it's normal. What are you doing here? How did you get here in the first place? Francis, you did what? I already feel terrible. I'm not judging you. I only feel sorry for her. I didn't even recognize her. What do you intend to do now? I'll work something out. I have her address. I'm here to see you. May I come in? No, you cannot come in. You cannot come into my house, Francis. Listen, I don't know how you got my address or how you found me, but please, I beg you. I beg you with everything you hold dear. Don't you ever bring your miserable face to my gates again. Don't you? I'm here to see you. Veronica, good morning. Yes, what do you want? I came to see you. Please, can we go inside? Please. Thank you. Thanks for letting me in. You don't need to thank me. My quarrel is not with you. Thank you. I got some things for you. Please take it. You didn't have to. Thank you all the same. You're welcome. Veronica, I believe you know why I'm here. You're here to talk about your brother, right? Please. Francis is really sorry. And he begs for your forgiveness. What forgiveness are you talking about? It took your brother 16 years. 16 years to ask for forgiveness. Why now? Oh, because he saw me at the hotel? Please, go back to him and tell him he should act like he did not see me. And move on. Well, he can't move on. You know, the past has a way of catching up with us. Do you believe in fate? Or karma? Never mind. Veronica, please. Please forgive my brother. Tochi, your brother is happily married. Just tell him to leave me alone and move on. Well, he can't. Why not? Because 
Francis is sick and he might die. He's, he's just trying to make peace with you. What is wrong with him? They call it SAA, severe plastic anemia. He needs the bone marrow transplant. His kids can donate, and I can't donate right now. I need help on my mom. I just want to make peace with you. Wait a minute. Seriously? So, you know, are you serious? He begs for your forgiveness, Veru. No, he is not asking for my forgiveness. You know the reason he came here. You can't save him. Your mother cannot save him. Neither can his kids. That was why he came here. Wait, I, I don't understand. He came here because of my son. Well, listen to me and listen good. Tell your brother it will never happen. Never happen. Did you say son? Francis. Francis, you did not tell me the whole story. I'm just coming back from Veronica's place. She was pregnant. She told you about the pregnancy. Yet you left her. You denied her. I mean, you told me she left because she felt guilty. That's a lie. I'm sorry about that. I was actually young and stupid. I have no alternative. I gave her some money to abort the pregnancy. I thought she would be fine. Well, she is not fine. And we better start looking for an alternative to save you because Veronica and her son are not an option right now. What other alternative do we have? Mom can't. She has an insulin dependent diabetes. There's nothing we can do. We can go to the church. Someone might be willing to donate. That would take a long time. The chances are pretty low. And it may take eternity to find a donor. That means we are back to me. I have, I have to. No, no, no. You know, I won't let that happen. I won't let you lose the chances of becoming a mother. You must be a mother. Don't even think about it. Francis, you're my brother. You. I can't. I mean, I don't get this. Why is this happening? Why? I really don't get this. I mean, I don't understand it. Why is Casey not a match? Why is it a match? What is that supposed to mean? No, 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 no. Explain to me what you mean by that. Nancy, I. I, I, I you what? No, tell me. Huh? Tell me. What are you insinuating? I didn't mean to insinuate anything. I was just, I was only thinking out loud. Oh. Honey, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Your sister just said something and you did nothing about it. She just questioned the paternity of my son. That's what you're doing. That's not what I did. Then what? I'm sorry, Nancy. I'm are you sorry. shut up? Shut up. You can think whatever you like. But let me tell you. You cannot spoil my home the way you spoiled yours. Yes. You heard me? Don't you understand me? No sense. Think it out loud indeed.
What are you doing here? Is that your new way of greeting your husband? Well, I am here to take you home, so go and get your things ready. We are leaving. I should go and get my things. Why? Why what? You are my wife. You are married to me. I paid your bride price. I paid for everything. I paid in full. You paid my bride price. You paid my bride price. And how many times have you threatened to have it returned to you? How many times, Suzochi? Do you remember what you said to me? You told me to my face that you were tricked into paying for a statue instead of a wife. You called me a statue. Oh, that's in the past, please. Well, I'm not past it. Listen to me. I don't know what possessed you into coming here today, but you better turn around. Go back to whatever it is and tell them you did not see me. Tell it you did not see me. Now get out. Who's watching? Go, please. Go. Go. Uh, I brought these things for you. You brought them for me? Yes. Mommy Who's, and this. Hold on. Who sent you? Uh, Mommy, who bought this for us? Alright, I'll take my leave. Uh, look, hold on. Please, take them back. What? Mommy, please. Oh, if I drop those things, I'll go inside. I said you should take these things and leave. I, I can't take them back. Are you deaf or you're failing to be deaf? I can not do them. Pack these things and get off my feet. Yeah. She rejected them. No. Don't bring it to my house. I will call you later. Okay. Thank you. She rejected the gifts? Yes. You see, Francis, I am sorry for all these things. But you need to find a way to fix them. I am not just your best friend. I am also your doctor. So I understand perfectly what you are going through at the moment. Find a way to make Veronica listen to you. You need that transplant, or you are going to get worse and, um, in fact, just find a way to talk to her. I'm in pain. I understand, but um, we just have to do the needful. You need the transplant. Sit, Francis. Vero, please. I want you to hear me out, please. Well, you are 16 years too late. Vero, please. I know you are angry with me, but I want you to get the moment to reflect on what has happened. I want you to think about the good times, the good memories we shared together. Please, shut up! How dare you speak to me about memories? How dare you! Francis, you brought nothing to me but sad memories. You broke me. And you stand here to talk about memories. Now you listen. Don't you ever, I repeat, ever come to my workplace or follow me when I'm going home. Vero, please. You disgust me. Please, please, Vero. I am ready to make it right. Oh, you just want to leave. I do. I want to leave. Truly. Truly, I really want to live. But I want to make peace with you before anything. I am ready to make it perfect. Please. 
Please, Vero. You must give me a lesson here. Please. Please. I am dying. Where's Francis? He went out. Alone? In his condition? Where did he go? I don't know. You're lying. Yes. I know you both are hiding something. You better tell me. Nancy. Nancy, you should know by now that your rantings don't scare me. And I'm not in the mood for your drama. <laughs> Isn't it time you go to your husband's house? Hmm? I mean, somehow, somehow, you've managed to become pregnant. My brother's house. Why? What is my brother's house, Nancy? And until he asks me to leave, I am staying right here. This is where I'm staying. So deal with it. Yay. I seem to deal with it. <laughs> okay. I will deal with it. No problem. I will deal with it. Vero, please, please, Vero. I know you love me. I know you still love me. You do. I know. That was in the past. All that ended when I realized I was too easy. Too easy when I said I loved you too. Too easy when I believed all the lies and empty promises you made to me. Too easy when I let you have carnal knowledge of me. I am sorry. No, you are not sorry. I am truly, truly. You are not sorry, Francis. You will agree to my terms and condition. Else, watch me get a dress for your funeral. Because I won't miss it for anything in this world. Shut my door when you're done. still going to stay with this lying bastard after all he has done. Wait. You know? Yes, I know. <laughs> you think I'm a fool? Huh? I know. He chose you over her. What is the meaning of all this? Chose me over who? Veronica. Isn't that what this is all about? And you, Zochi. When did you become her bodyguard? Shut up. Don't tell me to shut you up. You shut up. I became a bodyguard since the day you chose to sleep with this, this, this demon, pretending he is your brother. What? You are a devil. You are a demon. You. That is sick. Oh, 
You think I wouldn't know? Thanks goodness, Nancy here explained everything to me the way it is. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you so much. Yes. Nancy. You said what? You are a demon. What did you say? You are a devil. You. Are you insane? Why would you come up with something so crazy about my brother and I? Are you alright? I can't believe it. This is this is sick. Oh my god. Shut 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 up. Oh shut shut god. up. I need an explanation. Can someone talk to me, please? She has a song for you? Francis, you have an illegitimate child? Nancy, now I am convinced that something is seriously wrong with you. I mean, how dare you? How dare you fabricate such lies about my brother and I? How dare you? Uh, hold it there. Fabric them, my children. Aburi, your issues get away here. What your case is very, very empty. What are we talking about? All this flat. What are we talking about? We are talking about something important ever. You are so unreasonable that you go about starting unnecessary drama. You are insane. You are really insane. Joel, is it me you're talking to? Yes, I'm talking to you, Nancy. I've had enough of you. Francis, prepare for burial ceremony. You got some memory. Nancy! Leave me alone. Nancy, leave me alone. Mark, you will not do anything. 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 Please. Hey. Bring him up! Get 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 him up! So is my father. Yes. Mom. You lied to me. You told me my father was dead. I was only trying to protect you. He denied your existence. Oliver. Oliver. Please, I beg. I am begging you, please. Please put aside your different put aside your grudges against my brother. Francis is dying. You have to save him, please. Please beg him. I was 16 when he got me pregnant. Do you know what I had to go through? I had to protect him. As the precious son of the pastor. The golden boy of the church. My own parents saw me as a disgrace. They sent me to the village. I was there alone. No one to cater for me. I catered for myself and my child alone. Aaron, <laughs> where was your brother? Where was Francis? I am sorry. Please, I apologize on behalf of my brother. Please. I'm begging you, please, for both of you. Francis is dying, please go and save me. Is my father dying? Yes, he's dying, but you can save him. Please. No, he's No. Then what happened after I donate my boomer?
Dalin. Grafton. Grafton. I was at the hospital earlier today to see your brother. Oh. Oh, so now he's my brother. Baby, I'm sorry. I know I made a terrible mistake. I, I didn't know he was sick. Look, I was on my way to the hospital, please. Daddy, please, wait. Francis told me about the pregnancy. I want to ask, is it really mine? Uzochi, you are asking me if the baby is yours. You're really asking me that. Oh, so now you're accusing me of infidelity. Oh, baby, I, 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 just leave me alone. Go, go away. Please leave. Baby, please, I... I... You know what? You can stay here. I'm no, out. can I drop you at least? Let I'm going to you. make a scene here if you don't leave. Let me take you to the hospital. I don't want. I will take a cab. Go away. Fat and leave him. Please now. Yeah? Please now. I've missed you. Yeah? You've been cold towards me all this while. Please now. Don't deny me this now. Please. <laughs> Francis, I will do whatever I want. Eh? You lied to me, Francis. For 13 good years of marriage, you lied to me. You took me for a fool. Me! <laughs> Please now. Eh? I have been begging you. I've been begging you to forgive me. Eh? There's a reason for everything. Please, mm. that boy saved my life. Is that what you're saying? There's a reason for everything. Mgwanoome. Pyabakugaba! Pyabakugaba, Ziano Nezi! Francis! No! Go out there and have more kids! Maybe tomorrow it'll be HIV or gonorrhea. And one of them will save your life, okay? Pyabakugaba! Nebikon. Biko. Brother, are you not with your phone? Veronica says she has been calling you. But what are you doing? Please tell me you're not doing what I think you're doing. Talk to me. I can't. I can't do it. You can't do what? I won't marry two wives. <laughs> Francis, you can. In this case, you can. How do I go about it? Nancy is yet to forgive me because I did not tell her about my son. Now, you think the best for me to do is to bring that boy and his mother in this house? Hmm. Francis, I don't know how you intend to convince Nancy to accept this, but you better do it fast. You gave Veronica your word. I vouch for you. And I refuse to be a party to such lies and deceit. Please, Francis, I'm begging you. I'm begging you in the name of God. You've hurt that poor woman enough. Please, end it. Do not do it again. Please. I don't want to 
wanna let you go But you broke in my heart Have you judged me? What would you have me do, Francis? What would you have me do? I should bow and worship you. I didn't say you should bow and worship me. I didn't say that. I'm tired, Francis. I am sick and tired of all this. I'm really tired. Huh? What's going on? We need to talk. Talk about what? Off my dead body! Do you hear me? Off my dead body will I allow that woman and go and her son into my home? Do you hear me? Never! It will not happen! There is no way she's coming here! Do you think I like this? <laughs> Do you think? That boy is lying at the hospital as we speak mm. because he risked his life to save mine. I heard it. Was there? What do you want me to do? You want me to abandon him and his mother at the hospital? Is that what you want? What I want is for you to settle them. Yes, give them money. Run the house for them. Pay them off. But I... Anything. But not come to my house. Come on, come on, come on. I suggested that, but the woman opted out. She doesn't want that. Hmm. <laughs> You have seen me that one seat. There is no way any stupid stranger is coming to my home. It's not happening. What am I Now you listen to me. Veronica is not a stranger. She is my wife and that boy is my son. What? You slapped me? Mm -hmm. Do you just slap me? Me ni bago za. Wa ngon ko no sense na. Sarabish. The day I will slap you, will come. <laughs> Francis, you know you cannot do it. You mad me we now? You cannot. Wa ni ya. Wa ya. It's okay. It's okay too. It's okay. It's okay too. 
But I tell you, the day I will slap you, I come. Imam Muya, you cannot try it. Eh? No sense. She will not come to my house. Moya, what? Try me. Try me again. Eh? You get regret here. If you try it, eh, you will be to die. Moya, what? She's coming to your to my house. Hey, 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 hey. I know ya. I know ya. Asim, Africa is my wife. Okay. Hey. 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 Life is all about what we can do for each other And I know I put my life at stake for you You have to change your ways You think about the future You think about the past It's the past that makes us who we are I'm here, what is it? Are you okay? Did you know? Know what? Did you know? Are you aware that Francis is married to another woman? Nancy, I think both of you should discuss this as... as... Does, did you know? Yes. Of course. Of course you would know. What did I ever do wrong to you? Why are you bent on destroying my marriage? What did I ever do wrong? <laughs> what did I do wrong to you, Sochi? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, Sochi, Sochi, Don't touch me! <laughs> Where is your mommy? She went out. Where did she go? Don't know. Okay. Um, I want to discuss something with you guys. Hmm? You remember the boy at the hospital? The good Samaritan. Correct. The one that saved my life. That boy and his mother. They will be living with us anytime soon. But why, Dad? Because he's your brother. But how, Dad? Um, it's a long story. I will explain all that to you people when the time comes. Hmm? I saw him at the hospital. He's older than me. But mom said that I'm your first son. I will always be your first son. Who told you that? Mom. 
When did she say that to you? Yesterday, Dad. <laughs> you know I love you so much. Is that? Hmm? And like, I can't stop loving you. You are my son. Oliver is my son as well. Hmm? Don't worry yourself. Hmm? Don't mind your mother. Hmm? Good. And what are you people watching? SpongeBob. Oh, SpongeBob. Oh, wow, that's good. Oh, wow. I hope this one is interesting. Yes. Don't worry. Uh, one of these days I'm going to do kitchen for you people. Okay, then you go back to your seat, eh? I'm coming. Hey! That's my my wife, Nancy. Come on. Don't worry. Is she always this angry? Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry yourself. Mom. This is beautiful. Have a seat. Sit down. It's alright, just make yourself comfortable, eh? While I tell them to prepare your room. It's okay. Be quiet.
Okay, tell him to wait for me. I'm coming to the office now. Yeah, let, let them go. So. Your food is ready. Do you want me to serve it here or you want to stay at the dining? Oh, okay. I think uh, uh, dining will be better. It's cold. Do you want me to microwave it? Answer me now. Do you want me to microwave it? You're looking at me. Should I microwave the food? Microwave what? What is going on here? What do you mean what is going on here? I want to fly helicopter. You're asking me what is going on here. What do they microwave? Food. I made food for my husband. For who? My husband. <laughs> Listen. I don't know what you think you are. And I do not care how you got into this house. But do not make any form of rubbish for my husband to eat. Did you hear me? Mm. Don't. Well, I did already. Deal with it. Francis, did you ask this abandoned corpse to make breakfast for you? Did you? Oh my God. Please, please, my dear, please. I said, did you ask her to make breakfast for you? Please, I came to your room. You were still sleeping, so I didn't bother to disturb you. Uh-huh, I'm confused. In other words, what? I'm sorry about that. You're sorry about what? I don't understand. Sorry about what? Sorry about what? You did not speak Spanish, my friend. He spoke English. Now nah, see how what are you implying? Do you ask her to make I you to tell you that I did Oh, I'm talking to you. What will you do? Hot shit. Um, Hot is there. What will you do? You did what? How will you get her from here? You asked her to send you food, right? You. Well, let me explain for you. Since you are deaf and dumb, you cannot hear better oh, day. Oh, Francis. Francis. And Samia, I don't understand. Do you ask her to make breakfast for you? I am talking and you're licking your lips. Talk to me! You are still sleeping now. Calm down. Why did you wake me up? Huh? Why did you wake me up? Rubbish. You've cooked poison, obviously. Uh, I know you can't even cook. You might really have to go for my own. You brought Baba Ike. They should come and wake you up. We need to back the thought. Mba! Sleep on the bed. Yeah, I'm okay. You are a product of someone's nine months labor. Respect that fact. Respect it! Count yourself lucky that you did not get to the dining table because the plate is empty. Just like the empty promises you made to me. Oh, I'm your maid. If you are little them, I should come and wake up and cook for you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Rubbish and ingredients. What's going on? What was she saying about the food? You don't need to bother yourself. I'll go find something else. Let me bake something for you. Eh? No, 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 no. You don't even need to bother yourself, right? But you no. need to eat. I know. Don't, don't worry yourself. Don't even need to bother yourself. Imagine, look at the way both of them are embarrassing themselves. This one is telling this one, no, Baba, we can have And you know what? We can here. How can you be in my house? The, the object clause now was only Baba, we can. When you know you have Baba, we on your own. It's not good now. Huh? It's okay, just make sure you eat something. Eh? I'll Please. find something I eat. I don't need to bother. Oh, your name is working at your Babu. It's always like that. Have a nice day. Darling. Mm -hmm. Belongs to me. So don't 
in your entire life try to touch my pot again. <laughs> Which husband? Hmm? <laughs> the one you forced into marrying you. You think I don't know? I know. <laughs> you don't have any shame. At least nobody tied me with a rope and brought me here. Mm. Neither did I tie myself and brought myself to this house. But a man mean? brought me here. Mm. Let me tell you, you darling. Him. Relax. Please, your... Chill. Mom, your... I said chill. Oh, really? Because. This house, I mean everything in this house, belongs to my husband. So, it belongs to me. I will do whatever I want to do in this kitchen. In my own kitchen? In your eh? kitchen? Where were you when we built this house? <laughs> this is my kitchen. Nancy. Nancy. What was the last one in Kande? Eh? Last if one in Kande? Nancy. Last one in Kande? Nancy. 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 If I thought you would change colors. What is going on here? Stop it! Stop it, come on! Stop it! I will deal with you this house! Stop it! I will deal with you! You can shout! You are just a dog! Only thing you must do is just to bark! Hey, 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 bark! I will bite you! If I bark! I don't only bark! I bark! Stop it! Stop it! Please! Your children are outside! They can't hear you! I will deal with you this house! I will kill you! You will kill me! Ah! You will kill me! I will kill you! Hey, we take the teenager. Nancy, if I bust on your face, eh? eh? See? Daddy, Mara. If I give you ten plus one and ten, Daddy, Mara, stop it. Ten plus one and two, come here. Daddy, you will die here. I will die. You will die here. Please stop it. Nancy, Daddy, Mara. You don't know. Nancy, stop it. Nonsense. Eh? Oh my God. This this little thing has become a thorn in my flesh. Nancy, you will leave this house. You will leave this house. Ah yes. Veronica, please say nothing. Nancy, stop. Oh, stop, please! Nancy! You can't say that we just put it in. Nancy, stop! enough! Both of you have to stop this nonsense. You can't possibly turn this house to a war zone. This is crazy! For Christ's sake, think about your children. What you're doing is not fair. No, please, don't you stop it. Don't you dare talk about fairness. Don't you, because I will make a long list. You and Francis showed up at my door, begged me to save his life. Now I have done that. What more do you expect from me? What do you want, my womb? Or you want me to just sit, <laughs> smile, and pamper her over my dead body? <laughs> Vero? Vero? Look, Nancy. Nancy, this is not funny. You're making life difficult for my brother, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I see. Oh, well, it's very simple. If you do not like it, you pack and go. You pack and go. It was easy. Are you a three? Move! Oh, you don't know you're making this place uncomfortable for me. Eating my food. Neeriri. Neeriri. Mwaki neeri. Eh? Pack and go. Naba, is this your husband's house? Go to your husband's house. Nancy, you should know by now that your rantings don't scare me. Oh, it scares you. It doesn't. You're afraid of me, man. But I got news for you. Hmm. Stop tormenting my brother. I am warning you. Eh? You better stop no, it. No, 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 I don't agree with you. Don't try to warn me. Oh, what? Don't try to warn me. What will you do? <laughs> Nancy, I said I am warning you. Hey. You are making life difficult to my brother and I don't like it. Well, I don't Stop care. Stop my brother, I Nancy. don't care. When a man brings home an infested faggot, he should not complain when he's being visited by lizards. Eh? Your so-called brother disrespected our vow when he brought that thing into our home. So I am going to give it to all of you the way you deserve it. You hear me? He will do nothing. <laughs> I'm he telling you, do nothing. don't want me. Hmm. Don't try to want me along well, like that. That is, pregnancy. That is what I will say from I you. If I decide to attack you, you will hey. not hurt me. Hey, 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 h
Yes, your brother can come with us. Wow. I'm worried that she's coming. Come with us. Good afternoon, ma'am. Eh? Come here, you two. Come! Come here! Come with us. Did I say come here? Not cheery, not cheery. Huh? But, mom, he's a brother. Yes. <laughs> but that says a brother. Come, come, come on, get my bag, let's go. Get my bag! You real? You, you, you poverty. Hmm? Your face looks so strong. How poverty will you get? my trouble. I will call Brother Oliver to come and beat them for me. Look at you. Hmm? No shame. What happens to your hand? Why can't you fight? Look at your mother now. I go on. I wage. I fight. I even bite. Hey? Fight for yourself. Hey? It's that said that he's our brother. Hey. Hey. Your dad is simply sick and confused. Sick? Mm. Confused. Yes. Yes. So he's not your brother. Mm. Hmm? In fact, he is your enemy. So that is lying. Exactly. Mm. 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 He's lying. He's lying to you people. But why would that be lying to us? I don't know. Like I said, see him as your enemy. Him and his mother. They're only here to take what rightfully belongs to the both of you. Yes! Yes! So, don't go close to him. Don't even talk to him. Hmm? Start fighting him from now. Hmm? Good. Good shit. <laughs> and you want to make ice cream? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Full of misery, I'm dying. My life is in pain, so my life is in danger. My life is full of misery. Francis, I'm sorry. I know I have not been a good husband to your sister. And I insulted you with the way I treated her. I'm deeply sorry. Please forgive me. You should apologize to her, not me. I've been trying. How is she? She's good. She's doing fine. It feels good to hear that. Please, I want you to do me a favor. Talk to her for me. Tell her to please come back home. I miss her. Her presence, everything, please. I will tell her. Thank you so much. There is one thing. One good reason I came here. 
Okay. But please, pardon me for what I'm about to ask. Francis, you have three women at home. Why? <laughs> what is the reason? Wonder shall never end. <laughs> Sister, you mean you've been tolerating some idiots in your own house? Hmm. What nonsense! How can Uncle Francis disrespect you like this? Sister, why didn't you send for me? Why didn't you send for me? So if I hadn't come to visit you today, I wouldn't have known about all this. Mm. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm handling it. Go see some. Sister, don't worry. We will handle it together. We will handle it together. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not leaving this house. Hey. I'm not leaving this house until those strangers are out of your home. Hey. Unless you want them to stay. You <laughs> see? Stay where? In my own house. <laughs> Why are you talking as if you don't know me? Have you forgotten what about the blood eye problem? It was my issues now. Who saw women with their eye problem? I will deal with them. I am going to give them fire. All cool. All cool gangbang at this house. And the new gangbang who does fools. I will deal with them. <laughs> you see me? I have come to stay. I'm not going anywhere. No problem. I'm not leaving this. No problem. That, that foolish, that foolish girl thinks she can stand me. Okay? Oh, yeah? That thing. That thing. I was watching that. Uh -huh. Who are you? Sister and Dede, we are not quarreling at least. Hey! But just... Hold it there! What did you just call me? Did you just call me your sister? You are very stupid. You are mad! Go and meet your old mother and ask her who your sister is. Monkey. Why are you insulting my mother? What has she done to you? What hasn't she done? Your mother is a homebreaker. She wants to snatch my sister's husband. <laughs> Stop insulting my mother. If I insult her, what will happen? Stop it. What will you do, you cockroach? What will you do? Oliver, whatever they call you, I believe you can hear me very well. Your mother is wayward. She's a home breaker. She's a home breaker. I'm warning you. Stop Your it. mother is wayward. I told you to stop it. Did you just slap me? I heard voices. What's going on here? He slapped me. What? How dare you? How dare you lay your fury? Look at me! Look at me! How dare you lay your fury hands on my sister? Huh? Are you stupid? Look at me! Look up! The next time you try to lay your hands on my sister or any of my kids, you will regret it! Fool! Bastard! Idiot! Nonsense! Did he touch you? No, mommy. Idiot. Foolish. She's not seen anything. Stupid boy. Rubbish. I don't blame you. Because I let you sit on my couch. Right? Foolish boy. Wait a minute. What? What? 
What is this, Oliver? Mama, what? I'm fine. What is this? What did this to you? Mama, I'm fine. Oliver, what happened to you? Speak this moment before I forget my hands on your face. Mom, I fell. Oh, you fell. You obviously fell on the palms of somebody because that is exactly what I'm seeing on your face. Tell me who did this to you before I hit you. Mom, Uche's mother slapped me. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear that. What did you say? Nancy slapped you. My son! What is going on? What is wrong with your mother? That maybe you ask her yourself. I was dead. Hmm? See, faith has brought us together. And we are one family now. So please, I beg you all in the name of God, be Kona. I need peace in this house. Hey, my friend, stop talking nonsense. Where are you thinking about peace when you brought this thing and her stupid bastard of a son into this home? That oh God, may the Holy Ghost fire burn you from your head to your toe. Francis, Francis, be gone. Tell this little sweet, this bastard. Be gone. Don't, don't, don't help me beg her. I will not take him. Let the wrong bash. Let the wrong bash. Let the wrong bash. I will not take him. Be gone. Let the wrong bash. 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 Let Back and go. So, I can't talk to you people anymore now. Now you listen to me. If I hear pain from your mouth again, I will put cigar in your nose. My friend, stop saying what you know you cannot do. You can't do that. You will let cigar put where? In my sister's nose. Try it. Why? Try it. Practice. If you want peace in this house, it's your peace that is out. Tell this thing to me. I should leave. Well, my darling, I will not sleep. You will leave. Wait for now. In my turn, I'll stay here. Stay here eh? until I die. <laughs> you see this boy here? This man you see here? Let's go. Blood of this man. This is my husband. We have stayed away far too long. <laughs> For now, we are here to stay. This is our home. This is where we belong. And we are going to be here till we die. Mm -hmm. So get yourself ready. Be ready. Try. Try. 
It's obvious. It's obvious you don't know where you came to. <laughs> tell her, tell her. Tell her a little bit of that. Um. You don't know. You will go if you don't leave this house. You eh? your mind. If you don't leave this house, it can't get me. What I'll do to you? <laughs> if you don't leave this house, <laughs> and as for you, Francis, what can you do? What can you do? You will see me. You know what I can do. Tell her to leave. Oh. Hey! Tell her, my Tyson. Tell her, come on, fight now. Because you can't tell her your head. You think you're a man. May God punish you. Come here. Let me show you. Let me show you magic. 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 Let me show I want peace in this house, please. Hey, Francis. Francis, if not that you're my husband, if I give you back hand, that is, if I slap you, you will not see Nigerian stars. If you got full with foreign stars, you'll be hearing wah 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 palms. You know what? Are you mad? Who are you preaching peace to? I will for Francis. Do I look like a pope? Who are you asking for forgiveness? You are here. This nickel poop. This bastard had the gods to raise her filthy hands on my son, a boy I carried in my womb for nine months. Do you know how I suffered? Do you know how I suffered to try this boy? And you're here preaching peace to me. May God punish you. Nah, you need that girl. She's looking for who to fight. Nah, if you're looking for peace, go to the church. Go and do confession. You're not seeing me your peace. Come on, come on. My son, you go. Your wives were fighting again. I tried to stop them and they pushed me so hard that I fell. Oh my God. Are you okay? How about her? Uh... We are both fine. I'm just coming back from the hospital. See, um, don't you listen. You're leaving this house this moment. You're leaving this house. This place is no longer safe for you. Yeah? Um, Zorchi called and he said he has been begging you. I think you need to forgive him now. It's very important. Please, he should be here any moment from now. Hmm? I think he should be the one on the door. My brother. My brother. How are you? Let me quickly go upstairs and get her bags, eh? Okay. I'm coming. Sweetheart, I am sorry. I am going to make everything right, okay? For you and our child. How are you, baby? I missed you. Missed you too.
Ah oui, ah oui, des fans. Ah, il va noter ici. Eh eh. Où est-il? Good afternoon. My name is Fema, and I'm here to see Oliver. Hey hey hey. Nya 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 You are here to see Oliver. A small girl like you, you walk into this compound, a family house at that, to look for your boyfriend. Are you not afraid? No. Let me keep free out of this. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Don't you have on training? Excuse me. Have we met before? Why are you ranting and saying all this to me? Do you know me before? Me? Ranting? Hey, Ndidi ranting? Are you mad? Ah! You slapped me! And I will do it again. Ify, how are you? What's going on here? She slapped me! You slapped my cousin? Mm -hmm. Didi! You slapped my cousin, Didi! <laughs> I'm warning for the very last time. Be careful! Didi! Be careful! Ify, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Please, you slapped I'm me! Sorry. Please, I'm sorry. You don't have to put anything in, please. Let's go inside. Oliver, you're very stupid! You're very stupid! Both of you are mad! Idiot! Come and fight me now! Come and fight me! Why are you going inside? Fool! Kill you for this house. Good afternoon, my darling. Who did this to you? I met with She had an argument with Ndidi. Ndidi? What did that idiot do to her? Mom, I handled it. It's, it's okay. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'll give you some medications. But for now, let me take you in. Let's go. It's this way. Um, Oliver, put some water on the fire for me so that I can use it. Touch her, please. Sorry. How are your parents? trying to tell me now is that Francis brought in another woman into that house as his wife. Mama, not just that though. 
The woman even has a son for him. Kenny! Hey! A 16 year old son for that matter. I'm not gonna tell me. What wrong did I do to Francis to deserve this? I'll get the camera. What wrong did I do? Hey! She didn't keep in your job. But she didn't Nancy. You mean all these have been happening? And you never bothered to tell me your mother? Hmm? I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm not going to go. I felt I could handle it. Handle it? How far? I handle all of it. Hmm? But she didn't come. Does your mother-in-law know about this? In a judge. Of course she knows. Oh my Fuma. Oh, and I don't you so can Hey! They went with their teeth when I paid her bread price. Oh Dalamo. Eh? So they didn't even think to tell me, okay? So I become so small that I should be neglected like this, okay? <laughs> but I'll pay them a visit. Mm. I'm a girl, Eva. Now you need to. I am a girl, Gaga. Joe Susanna. I just want to hear. I go ibu. I didn't even see you. Hmm. You need to. Mm. You need to come, eh? Because I don't know what I did to deserve this. Mm. I'm a good woman to Francis. I'm enough for him, eh? What is he looking for outside? Hap. I go get him, Eva. I go get him. Hmm. So Susanna. I had to rush down here because I'm tired of the reports on the havoc your daughter is causing in this house. Oh, oh, so my daughter is the problem here. Chief George, he concludes only. Susanna, you are very unreasonable. So you supported your son to bring in another woman into this home. And you blame my daughter for protecting and defending her home. Eh? Obonne. Are you mad? You mean for anything? You mean you opened your mouth on no answer to call me unreasonable? In a poor life, you're not unreasonable only, but you're very stupid. They go punish you. Oh, oh, get the back of my go punish you. Get the back of my go punish you. Come walk back here. Let me tell you. If not that me born again Christian, oh, born there. If I despite the fact that me born again Christian, I will throw my Bible aside and give you the body and beauty of your life. Who do you think you're talking to? I left my own Bible at home and I came. People have one. I will tell you. I will tell you. In my son's house? Eh? I hope people are not here to cause more problems for me. What is all this? Please, people should go back to where you're coming from. I don't like it. In fact, people should come and leave my house. Mm. Oh, my dog, I to pieces. Francis! I should leave your house. Hey, hey. Hey, the whole story. Because they were them naga. Until I finish giving you that trouble you asked for. They will finally win them. You are going nowhere. In this house, we have also. Does this look like your child's house? This is my son's house. You will go back to that stupid rotting hole that you brought that from. Because I'm a mean what I be. You are leaving this house now. You won't say my son's house. Nancy, I've had enough of this nonsense. So you went and complained to your mom? Yes, I did. I did Francis. I'm going crazy in this house. And you better tell that thing. One year is only hurry, one year is really young to leave this house with her son. How do you expect me to share you with another woman? Eh? You have no option. <laughs> and you must live with it. Well, I won't. She is leaving my house to abandon my son, or I will make this house a living house for you and her. Do it. Try it. Hmm. You watch me go downstairs and tell your mother what you did. I don't understand. What do you mean? Nancy, do you think I'm a fool? Hey, Nancy, what do you take me for? Kelechi is not my son. Huh? Yes. Who is Kelechi's father? You are losing your mind, obviously. <laughs> and I cannot have this conversation with you. Catherine, don't play with me. Listen, don't joke with me. Don't. Joke with me. Who is Kelechi's father? Why you, why you, why you? Oh no, oh. Speak before I break your neck. 
Of course, it must be him. I don't want to give you up. I don't want to let you go. But you broke in my heart. Please go. Where is it? Come Where is it? I have the result here. Did you look at this? Of course I did. Fancy. What are you doing? What does Libby come doing? Wait, wait a minute. It is quite unlikely that a child won't be a match to any of the parents. Does it mean that? It simply means nothing. That case is not Francis' son. <laughs> and listen to me. If Francis asks you about this result, you'd better come up with some medical crap to defend why Casey is not a match. Fancy. Get out. You broke in my heart. Please go, go, go. Over and done with hanging on. I wanna keep moving on. But it's so hard. Francis, my mom. I am sorry. So it was you. So it was you. What did you do to Nancy? Sis, I, I don't understand. You don't understand. Did you sleep? With my wife, Francis. Did you? Yes. Francis, please. I I I did. It was a mistake, please. You you did. Yes. You slept with my wife. You he got. You slept with my wife. You slept with my wife. Francis. I am sincerely sorry. Please. Now you listen to me. If you dare call me anywhere close to my family, I will destroy you. I will devour you. I will make sure that you lose your license. Do you, do you understand? Yes, of course I do. Sorry, Francis. Please.
before you do anything in this life. Oh Dad, Oliver, Dad, are you okay? You have been sitting here for a while. I'm okay. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Dad, Mom doesn't hate you. She's just angry with you. Yes. Oliver, my son. Yes, Dad. You know you're a great boy, and I'm so proud of you. I'm sorry that I've not been there all this while for you, but I promise you that I'll make it up to you. You know, I will try my best to be the best dad, right? Okay, then. Well, let's be great. I took you to the room and 
bed. We went back to the reception. And then we talked. And then we drank. And what? And then you made a U-turn and ended up in bed with Sam. Slept with my friend and have a son. I'm sorry. It was just once. It was just once. You wanted to do it the second time. The third time. Probably. To let go, I gave up myself for you. I gave all my heart to you, but you left me, you left me when I needed you more. My life is in pain, so my life is in danger. My life is full of misery. I'm dying. My life is in pain. Full of misery, I'm Nancy, 
Anyway, I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised. How would she do this? I still can't believe it. Nancy betray me like this. I really don't think if I will live with something like this. I mean, how do I trust her for something like this? Kelechi is not my son. I love that boy. But how do I always look at him? Remembering that he's not my son. I can't train someone's child. I can't. Francis. Francis. Look, I understand this is a lot to take in. But please. Please don't make any rash decision. Look. As much as I hate what Nancy has done, I wouldn't support you to throw her out. She's still your wife. And Casey is your son. Remember the Bible encourages us to forgive. So please, please forgive her. And don't forget, you are the only father that boy knows. And he loves you. Please, don't punish him because of his mother's mistakes. He's still your son, Francis. It's your son. I don't want to give you up. I don't want to let you go. But you've broken my heart. Please go, go, go. Over and done with hanging on. I want to keep moving on. But it's so hard to just let go. Welcome, Oga. Uh-huh, how are you? Oga, no Oga, okay. I don't tire. Since morning, where I begin to fight for this house, eh? I don't tire. If you see how things where they start the pile of the fly, piam, piam. The yellow madam, go through it, oh, piam. The black man, go through it, oh, piam. Even though you say, I come out, I don't die. What, what, what is flying, piam, 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 piam? Hey, Oga, make you know, be said, I'm here to come. That fine flower we did for Palo. If you see how the black man can throw, piam! The yellow man go through the piam, piam! Even that big TV we did for that Palo, eh? The black man who is a scatter my head. Even though beside run, eh? Oga, as you come back, I have one die. <laughs> Oga, no only you fish to the matter. Me are no fish to them. Then they inside. You mean they are fighting inside the house? Oh, they didn't say house, no, no, no. If you enter, I will see them. Um, open the gate for me. Organize it then. We open the gate. Said um, she wants shawarma from this pot, so I'm here to get it for her. Wow. <laughs> um, well, 
I'm happy for you. Thank you. Hmm? Thank How about your baby? Oh, my son, he's doing perfectly well. Just as handsome as his father. Whoa. <laughs> That's good. That's good. She look worried. I guess everything is not cool at home yet. Uzo. I don't know what next to do. The place I called home has turned to be a war zone. I don't know. Nancy is a new level of baggage now. So Veronica, I have apologized to her like how many times now? But she determined to be a ton of my flesh. Do you blame her? I mean, I mean she only agreed to move in with you because of her son. Are you trying to say that I deserve all that has been happening to me? <sighs> Francis, your words are not mine. But I'm stating the fact here. Would you have allowed she and her son to move into your house if you didn't need them to save your life? I didn't think so. We are responsible for our actions. And we need to watch what we do today because it might come back to haunt us tomorrow. If you have any advice or anything better to tell me to put my family in order, please do. Don't make me feel worse. I'm sorry, Francis. I, I have an idea. It might sound crazy, but I think it will help put an end to all this. What is it? This is what I think you should do. Please think twice before you do anything in this life. Oh yeah. Well, that is your business. Whether you think I'm old or not, I am still going to make this test. No, don't make it wrong. Uh-uh. me. This is for me. Yeah, fine. <laughs> but this is nice. Mom. Oliver, how are you? Oliver. I'm fine. So what do you think about this? What Mom, can think? I ask you something? Yes, go ahead. Mom, do you regret giving birth to me? What? Oliver. Why would you say a thing like that? Listen, Oliver. I admit that I made some mistakes. I have regrets, yes. Look at me. My love, you are not one of them. You are definitely not one of them. You are the most precious gift I have in this world. Then stop hating him. Mom, we need peace in this house. Sister, Oliver is right. Look, violence is never an answer. Just forgive him. Forget everything. Okay, fine. I know this is not the kind of family you want for your son. Or even you. Please. Please think twice before you do anything in this life. Oh, yeah. Please think twice. Before you do anything in this life, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Sister, mm -hmm. what is it? You look worried. To me. Didi, I am tired. I am tired of all the fightings in this house. No one is perfect. Baby, I should 
just accept things the way they are. I'm surprised you're saying this. Are you the one talking? You call her a maid. She's not a maid. Eh? Okay. What is she? Um, oh dear. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> it's over. What's going on? It's over. <clears throat> Please, uh, where are my kids? I want to see them. You see, since both of you have decided to kill each other, I have decided not to be a widower. As you can see, I have a beautiful black beauty queen hey, hey. by my side. Nancy, Her Nanu name is Isioma. Her name is Isioma. If you look at her very well, you see the reason the parents gave her Isioma. Can you see the Amma? I paid you in here. Um, Isioma here, she's my new wife. Hold on, I'm coming. Yeah. Come down. Hey! Nancy, please come down, no. I see name with new wife. My yes. father. And then you like me. I like you. Uh, <laughs> no. That's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nancy! You can anime. Uh-huh. Well, why you? Hello. Uh, well, why you? Hello. 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 Hmm? Uh, my in-laws, this is your aunt. And Hi. then, um, <laughs> um, for my kids, this is your stepmother. Hey! Uh, uh, hey. Then, um, hey, what am I doing? Then, um, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? These are my wives. Oh. Eh? Mm. These are my wives. Hey. Uh, go again, my friend Kato. Eh? Uh, they are your co-wife, eh? Uh -huh. Then, uh, another thing, um, what I have here is seven rooms duplex. It's beautiful. I have seven rooms here, and then as well I have. It is um, beautiful. And I have swimming pool at the back in case you want to swim. I like swimming. Good. Six feet. Lovely, Six lovely, feet. lovely. The swimming pool. Then you go in, take any room of your choice. Any room you enter, and you feel that room is better for you. Eh? Tell me, I'll pack everything out of that room. <laughs> eh? And then anytime in you want what? to enter my room, in eh? what? come in, no problem. Is Only... there coming? Yes, of course. Coming to her death. Come here. Don't worry. Um, I'm I'm here. Take it inside. You are welcome. <laughs> New wife. You are welcome. Vicky. Oh, come. Vicky. They won't do you anything. Come just, now, it's come just for wife. you people to, take her in. to know each other very well. Mm. You, you know? Nancy, let's do formal introduction. Yes, yes. If we're owner, mm. they told you we have seven rooms. Mm -hmm. seven. Six of them. Much worry. I'm one, I mean, bam, man. Much worry. Very cold. I was swimming pool. Six feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the last room. Oh, you're there, are there. But you have a room. Introduction, <laughs> kind of. Mm. The seventh room is my husband's room. Mm. For me and my co wife. Exactly. exactly. So you sit there. You have no space here. At all, oh. Nancy. Mm? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What of that hey, 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 hey. 
too much from you in this house and I'm going to end it now I will end it here and now end it. listen and if you don't take time I will give you your own cup of tea down, what down. is all this stop it what stop what? What? Huh? why are you putting my new wife what's what's all what's all this why would you be that huh? since both of you keep fighting all the time stop this talking I don't like it stop what? Now listen to me. You know I told you the day I will slap you. The day I will slap you. I think it's today. You know Kelechi is not my son. And I will not take it again from you. Who is Yoko? Upon your evil act, you still have mouth to talk in my house. Challenge my orders. Come here. Francis, Francis. Now you listen to me. Please, Don't Francis. beg me. Francis. Don't beg me. Oh, now listen to me. Go in there, pack all your stuff, and get out of my house. I don't want to see you in my house again. I don't want to see you in my house this minute. Francis. Go up there, Francis. pack all your things, and leave my house this minute. Francis. Don't try. I'm not joking. Francis. If any of you, if any of you, if any of you, trust me now. I will throw the devil out of you. Come on, get out of this place. Get out of you! What is so? What is what is this for? Eh? What nonsense? What nonsense? Who? Who cares? No, no, no! I have been told. 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 I have but you've broken my heart Please go, go, go Over and on with hanging on I wanna keep moving on But it's so hard to just let go, let go But you left me, you left me When I needed you most And now I know what to do I don't know where to go You left me in the middle of nowhere I don't wanna, I don't wanna give you up I don't wanna, I don't wanna let you go But you've broken my heart It's hard to let go I don't wanna, I don't wanna give you up I wanna keep moving, moving on But it's so hard to just let go, let go